Dano released the biggest lore drop ever to be shown in the Riggy series. The problem is, only half of it is actually true. You see, Dano realised we were getting a bit too close to the lore. So, in an effort to put me on a wild goose chase, he made this post on Twitter to establish the rules of a game. Let's play a game. Within the next few days, I'm going to drop four images. Two of them will be majorly important and two of them will be almost meaningless. Your challenge is to find out which is which. He then posted the pictures, tagged my Twitter handle with the message, have fun, and then just left it. He could not have been any more vague. But nonetheless, I still plan to figure this out. Which has proven to be nearly impossible right now, because even Dano says that there isn't enough evidence to make a convincing theory. Am I able to prove him wrong? Well, let's find out. But before we do that, please do subscribe. I'm a relatively small channel, but recently you guys have been amazing, even getting me to reach 70,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful to have you guys this engaged in the content, and I hope that we don't stop and we can reach even bigger milestones later on. And maybe even get me a play button at some point, which seemed impossible before. But anyway, if you guys like my content, please do subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Anyway, back to the video. I'm going to be covering each one of these images individually and then I'm going to tell you guys which two I think are the lore drops at the end. That way you guys get the same information I'm given or I've found and you guys can draw your own conclusions. Some of you guys might even prove me wrong in the comments. Hey, I accept criticism, especially if it helps us figure out what these images mean. First up, we've got the purple flame. Fire in general has already shown up in the series. We see it after Riggy blows up the factory and kills Billy the Beaver. But the difference here is that the fire is purple. If you don't think that's important, it's thought that purple fire is used to bring things out of being, to have etherealized something. Look, the best explanation I've got of it is that it's the opposite of manifestation. You're not bringing it into the world, you're taking it out of the world. We already know that Riggy and Lucky are somehow connected to another world that we don't hear much about. But if people really believe that purple fire is taking things out of the world, then maybe it's putting things in another world. The idea of purple fire is used a lot in cult-like language, which can also once again tie back to the prophecies that we've been seeing in Riggy's community post. Next is the Rhino. Now, this isn't actually as out of place as it looks. Dano is running a fan art competition where his favourite ones will be put into the series. Which, of course, is amazing for the fan base because imagine being able to see your own original character in a series. Although, there were some rules. Rule number one include character name and artist name. That one seems kind of obvious. Number two specify whether or not you want your character to be brutally murdered. Huh. And rule number three, no mixed breeds or rhinos. That's such a strange rule to have. Rhinos? Why not have the same rule for other animals? And the way I wanted to disprove this theory was the fact that white rhinos being near extinction means that maybe Dano doesn't want to kill it off in the series. But that being said, there are plenty of other animals near extinction. It's more intriguing how he doesn't give a reason to this rule, which makes me think that there is going to be a Rhino character, and this guy is going to drive the plot forward. Maybe he's our real big bad guy in the series. Up next we have the rabbit looking in the mirror, or as I like to call it, oh my god please don't be another clone please I cannot deal with two of them, oh my gosh please do not. This is the only picture with a downright connection to the series because it's a rabbit and that's a large part of Riggy's identity. Dano also pointed out in the stream that we can't see the rabbit's tail, implying that this could either be a runky or not have a tail at all like clone Riggy. The fact that it's staring in the mirror also highlights the fact that there could be other Riggies in the series, which we have seen through the shadow and the evil looking Riggy. Plus, in supernatural instances, mirrors do represent a bad version of yourself. However, I feel like this is a red herring. The fact that it fits so well with the series already shows that it isn't revealing anything we don't already know. If anything, many theorists point out that it could be alluding to Clone Riggy showing up, but the chances of that are very unlikely considering that we know that Clone Riggy shows up in Riggy's life 
four years after the start of the series. And while he could show up again, the likelihood that he's going to be a major plot device is very slim, if not non-existent. And the final one is a book with scissors. Now this one seems the most random, as in the other three can be quick Google searches, this one's a bit more specific. At first, I believed that it was a book for prophecies, similar to some old religious texts and scribes, which would typically contain them. But that idea was quickly scrapped when I found out what we're actually looking at. This is a storybook, or a picture book. This is interesting because we are being told a story through pictures, cutouts of 2D characters onto a page. In fact, everything we've seen in Toonville so far it's not dissimilar to what we would find in a pop-out book. And we don't just see a storybook in this picture, but also a pair of scissors, which I missed the first time. When we look at each and every confirmed character, we see that they're all cut out from paper. But the monsters? They haven't been. This could be because it's dark. However, even when you turn up the brightness, the paper outline isn't there. So if I were to make a theory, I'd suggest that this is about controlling the narrative of the series. Who is in control, and how does it link back to the prophecies? Well, I believe that we're going to find that out. So after discussing each of the four pictures, it's time for me to conclude which ones I believe are the major lore drops. My theory is that it's the rhino and the book that are the true lore drops. But don't rule out the other two quite yet, theorists, because I can't predict what's going to happen next, and we don't know if I'm wrong or not. For all I know, these could be completely useless and Dano is pulling the biggest trick yet, or they could be all true and he's just been lying to us this entire time or deceit. Yeah, no, there's no doubt about it that this whole thing drove me insane, but it was fun. Will anyone believe me? Probably not. But the ones I've picked out are seemingly fitting to me because they seem the most random. He's hinting at both a major character and a major plot twist. I don't think that's too far-fetched. What do you guys think? Please do comment if you've got your own theories to share or join the Discord so that we can talk about these theories. It's so great to hear from you guys and I love talking about it with you. Anyway, I'm never gonna know if this is right or wrong or not until the series comes out eventually. So, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!